Hey guys, it's Jeremy from HowToHockey.com. Last week on Facebook, I asked if anybody was having problems with the wrist shot, and I got a bunch of responses. Some people even sent in videos so I could take a look at what was going on. So in this video, I'm going to cover any problems or common mistakes that people might have with the wrist shot. So Eric wants to go top cheese when he's nice and close and the goalie's sprawled out. Who doesn't, right? Right now, I'm practically in the goalie's crease, and I'm going to show you how to put it top shelf. There's a few ways, I'll show you all three, that my three favorite ways to do it. So first one, it's desperation. The puck's just sitting right there, and you need to put it up high. What you can do, just put the blade of your stick on an angle like this, rifle it up there, and just pray that it goes up high. It doesn't always work on ice, it's not always the most, but if you're last second, you just have to get it up high. That's the first way, you come in with the blade on angle like this and you put it up high and what you want to do is sort of push forward and then lift up with your bottom hand and really just basically try to hit your stick off the top, top crossbar that's how you want to put it up I'll show you that there you go right off the crossbar and in it's uh, not the best method but you can see it's working for me so basically what you want to do is get the blade underneath the puck and you can sort of feel the puck on the blade of your stick and then rifle it up there there we go this next method is good if you want to make a bit of room for yourself. Say the puck is in a bit too close. What you do is you pull it back, and by pulling the puck back, you're putting some momentum moving backwards, and that way it moves up on the blade of your stick even easier. This works a lot better on ice than it does on a shooting pad, but I'll show you what I mean. Pull it back, and then put it up there. Pull it back, put it up there. And basically that's like if it's in way too close and the goalie's gonna stop it, you can't just come in and put it up really quickly. You can pull it back and lift it up. And the next method I'm going to show you is my favorite. This method is my favorite because you can put the puck wherever you want, anywhere on the ice. So, if the puck's all right here, I can go top right, top shelf, or top left. And what you're going to do is use the toe of the blade of your stick to pull the puck in, and then roll the blade around and scoop it up like that. It's really quick motion, really quick, quick flip, but if you can perfect it, you'll be scoring tons of goals like this. And even if the puck is right on the goal post, you can pull it back and put it top shelf. See what I mean? And if I want to go top right, top shelf, top left, from right here, I can still do it. I'll go top right, go top shelf. Oh, put that one right over the net. There's top shelf. And I'll go top left from right here. There you go. So, another great advantage to this is say this whole side of the net is all blocked. You want to go top shelf over here. Shooting from this angle, you're going to get blocked. But with this method, you can pull the puck in and then shoot from over here. So if you want to go top shelf, and this is all blocked up, pull the puck over, boom, top shelf. So that's my favorite method, but I think you should practice all those methods because you never know when you're gonna to need to go top shelf or which method. So go out there and practice all these ones. We're gonna go on the next clip, which is how to shoot from your off foot.